Hello and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to day 14 of designing an island in 30 days without any items. Today on Baron it is September 11th and for today's announcements we have a new friend on the island. Jambet, welcome, welcome. Let's go ahead and get into our daily routine. I'm gonna check my mail, look for my bottle on the beach, plant my money tree, and shake my trees. I love when it rains because that can just do all of the work of watering my flowers for me. So, anything new here? Anything? Oh, there's a money tree I did not see earlier. Don't mind if I do. At least we got a purple mom, I guess. At least that's that's a good thing. But, I don't know. I'm kind of like half giving up at this point. I'm like, you know what? I'll just make it work with just white flowers. Forget about it. Just checking if anyone's crafting. And Flip is indeed crafting. What you got for me, boy? Ooh, a wreath. Oh, okay. Well, I could use that inside my house if I wanted, I guess. So I have a couple of goals for us today. Number one, well, it's not really a goal, but more of a, a thing that I wanted to do today is show you the official Baron outfit. I have put my blood, sweat, and tears into creating a beautiful special outfit for this island for me to wear. I also have not fixed the spelling mistake on this flag yet. Uh, don't look at it, please. I'll get to that today, maybe. But I truly wanted to capture the essence of what it would be like to live on a foresty island. And I think I have totally nailed it. Presenting the official Baron uniform. It is a simple little white shirt with some, some green overall dress and I've got mushrooms in my pocket. What do you think? I literally Googled forest core outfits and there was a dress on Shein that looked just like this minus the mushrooms. So I did rip it off from Shein, but I don't feel bad because Shein rips off other people, so. I'm just doing it back to them, you know? Anyways, I think it's really cute. You know, I'm kind of sick and tired of just wearing wetsuits everywhere. So this is this is definitely an upgrade. So I am going to be on the hunt for a hat to complete the look. So with that in mind, let's go check the Able Sisters. I also still need to get myself some glasses. My character can't even see. How am I even doing anything? What do you think about these? Are these a vibe? Nothing is really speaking to me today, honestly. So today I want to work on Roswell's yard. I want to work on the museum thing. And I want to farm for a couple of materials, mainly mushrooms. And I also have this seasonal item that I want to go get, but I think I have to time travel quite a bit. So I think first let's work on the museum because I know there's going to be kind of like a lot of complicated stuff going on over here. We have the museum moved because we moved it yesterday. So that's looking good. I need to figure out the placement for everything. So I'm actually going to start up the island designer because I want to figure out these inclines because I want to do double inclines. I'm going to use the in-game pathing tool and I'm going to draw a little line straight down the middle just to help me mark everything out and figure out placements and everything. So looks like we'll have to do a little bit of terraforming. I think I'll probably have to bring this in just a wee bit because we don't have that much space over here. You know, this little section of land, not that big. So we'll probably want to have these inclines kind of indented a little bit just so they don't take up the whole walkway. Okay, so something like this, I think. I went ahead and grabbed one incline marker kit, so we'll see how this looks and if it sticks out a little too much. Oh, actually that looks fine. I think that looks good. Let me imagine it just in case. No, yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. Let's do it. I did go for a more expensive incline and we don't have enough money to currently pay it off, but I did see CJ here when I was running around looking for my money tree. So I think we can maybe do some fishing and we can kind of come up with the bells to pay that off today. But before we do any of that, my inventory is pretty full from yesterday's decorating and all that kind of stuff. Oh, I also got some maracas in the mail. Well, these are fun. Okay, well, let me go empty my inventory because it's getting pretty cramped. I am nice and ready for some fishing now, but let me check with good old CJ and make sure I do those tasks first because otherwise I think we can't sell him fish maybe i don't know or maybe that's just for the models i don't know but i'll do it anyway why not today it is just three big time fish in a row all right i got you i swear the second cj said the size of the fish all of the big time fish were just like all right peace out i'm not gonna be here anymore because all i'm getting are little tiny ones where are all the big fish oh my goodness get out of here yes we're finally gonna get one at least i think this is the size wow look at him yay okay that counts it all right i got this big fish number two and a number three now i'm just gonna go around and catch a whole bunch of fish i've already been catching 
a few and I've already gotten some good fish that are gonna sell for a lot, so I'm excited about that. It's pretty clutch that CJ came today because we really need those bells for the inclines, especially since I decided to splurge and pick the more expensive ones. We're also doing good on nook miles. We have 11,000 right now, which is perfect. So usually my sleep schedule is like pretty bad. That's like always been my thing. <laughs> Even in high school, my sleep schedule was like absolutely atrocious. I would wake up at like 1 p.m., 2 p.m. because I did high school online, which was great. Fantastic. Totally loved it. I could never like seem to correct it. And then like the jobs that I would work, I would never have to wake up early for them. So I like never was like forced to correct my sleep schedule. And then I started doing YouTube. In conclusion, I have never been forced to correct my sleep schedule. And it's always been bad since like high school. Sometimes I'll get a little bit better. Like I'll wake up at 10 in the morning and stuff, but I have never been a person to like wake up at eight or nine or anything close to that. I'm always kind of more of a 11 to noon type of person. <laughs> so it's been getting kind of bad these past couple of weeks because I've been doing the 30 day challenge and I don't know, I'll just like stay up pretty late like editing and stuff like that. Um, but today, this morning, by some miracle, I woke up at 8.30 in the morning and I didn't fall back asleep. One, because I had to pee and two, because my boyfriend stole all the blankets in the night. So I only had a little corner and I was like, you know what? This is ridiculous. I'm just gonna get out of bed. <laughs> so today I woke up at 8.30 and I haven't done that in a long time. And I have already taken a nap and almost took another nap after dinner, but I had to force myself to get up and clean up. And I mean, I still got like six hours of sleep, but man, I just feel so dead. I, I don't know if it's like my body specifically needs like eight hours solid. Otherwise I'm just groggy all day. But like anytime I get less than eight hours of sleep, I'm just like, I cannot function. <laughs> I mean, I'm okay. I'm making it through. The nap definitely helped. I only took like a 20, 30 minute nap, but it was, it was a great little power nap. This is mostly just me rambling, but I was also curious if anybody else is like that. I'm just such a big night owl and such a big sleeper. Like I will sleep all day if I could. And if somebody let me, oh, we have a little eel. I think this is our first eel. I've been letting fish go left and right today. So I really wanted to catch this one. Nice, ribbon eel. That one's cute. Okay, how are we looking? Oh, we're looking pretty good. I'm just gonna catch two more fish and then I'll see you at CJ's. Oh, and look what else we got. This little stingray. So cute. So look at what I got. I got a salmon. I got a king salmon. I got a freaking dorado. We got a ray. We got snapper. I feel like this is gonna be pretty good. Ooh, 46,000 bells. Thank you, CJ. Oh yeah, this is how we're gonna get our inclines paid off today, besties. This is the way. I didn't mean to, to be a Mandalorian about it, but <laughs> you get the idea. Okay, I'm gonna go for round two and I'll meet you back with the haul. Look at this round two. We have a little bit less because I did fish up a lot of trash, but I feel like we got some good stuff here too. Let's see, let's see. 59,000 bells, thank you, sir. All right, next let's do my fossils. Like I said, I wanna go assess all of these bad boys and see if we can get that other half of the little deer thingy fossil skeleton statue. You know what I mean. Oh, and we got our gyroid also. Wait, this one's an Arphoid? Wait a second, this is the one that looks like a little doggy, right? Uh, <laughs> I don't know if he's necessarily very dog looking, but okay. I thought he would maybe look more like a dog and I thought he would be like a little outdoor yard pet that I could put in some of my villager yards, but uh, I probably won't. <laughs> Okay, I only managed to find three fossils, but let's see what we get. Okay, let's see. We got a little tail. Wow. This word that I am not even going to bother attempting to pronounce. Archaeopteryx. Oh, wow. Look at that. What, what even is that? And a shark. Wait, this is a shark tooth pattern? What? Okay, so a bunch of rocks, basically. Cool. No other half of our beautiful deer. We shall get it one day, I swear. Let me go ahead and pay off this incline so we can get that built. And that'll be nice to have. Honestly, it's such a dreary day and I wanna go do other stuff. So I think I'm gonna do some time traveling. The stuff that I wanna get, like that I'm gonna have to time travel a lot for is mushrooms. First of all, I wanna go get a bunch of mushrooms. I wanna get like this seasonal lantern. I need to go look up when it's available from Nook Shopping, but that is like one of the only lights that I can think of that doesn't have the little leaf icon. So that's gonna be a good light source for our island. We can scatter those along the walkways and stuff like that. 
like that. So I'm gonna wanna get a ton of those. So both of those things are available in November. So I'm gonna go ahead and time travel to November. Okay, we are here on Baron on Wednesday, November 1st. No big news, but a seasonal topic. Oh my goodness, mushrooms. Wow, it's almost like that's the whole reason I'm here. Let's go ahead and do our daily routine. I'm gonna check my mail, look for my bottle on the beach, plant my money tree, shake my trees, and water my flowers. You know, after a whole thunderstorm and all of that rain, there's still no green mum duplicates or even anything interesting. This is just a mess. This is just a mess now. I don't know what to do. Well, what do you guys think of this grass? I don't know how I feel about it. I kind of want to go look at the other villager houses that are like already decorated and see what they look like with this grass. I feel like it's a little too like yellowy, like maybe October would be the perfect happy medium. But we got our little mushrooms, so I'm gonna run around and collect a bunch of those and I'm gonna collect all of our fossils and everything that's like all, all over the ground. Oh my goodness, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening. Our girl Patty has a thought bubble, this time, I'm prepared. We have 11,000 miles and I think I am ready. I'm gonna kick her out. I'm feeling confident this time. Last time when we kicked out Vic, there was no confidence. This time there's confidence, which means it's gonna be a good villager hunt whenever I end up doing it. Go, Patty. Leave the island. Oh, and Leaf is here. Please have wheat. Please. Oh, we got a head recipe. Thank you. Now give me wheat. This is not a request. Oh my goodness. Tomatoes. I mean, I'll take it. Let me plant these before I forget. There we go. They're all nice and planted. And we got Nook Miles. For what? Oh, for planting produce. Oh, I thought it was tomatoes specifically. I was gonna be like, what? How did it know? that I planted tomatoes specifically, or like, how was that the Nook Mile task? Let me continue on my mushroom quest and I'll meet back up with you in a moment. Alrighty folks, here's the dealio. We got some fossils, we got some mushrooms, and we got some gyroids looking pretty good. So I'm gonna assess these fossils since I was already over here. Today's the day, today's the day, I feel good. We got another one of these bad boys. Another diplo neck or whatever, whatever the heck. This is, yeah, we just got a bunch of torsos pretty much. So not really any progress on the fossil front. Big sad, but we did have progress on the mushrooms, which is good. And I think we should also build our next incline. So that is next on the docket. And look at that, I made some blue hyacinths without trying. You know what? I'm so sick of this game. I'm just gonna let all my flowers run wild and just time travel a bunch and maybe they'll just give me the colors that I need because apparently I can't just do it myself. I'm too terrible at it. I'm putting some bells into the ABD. Honestly, it's not really like that important for me to pay off the home loan. I would like to upgrade my house to the point where I can customize the outside a little bit more. I don't really like the house that I have right now. So maybe we'll get to that point and then stop. But for now, I'm gonna grab another incline to put in front of the museum. Imagine I did two totally different inclines. That would be so frustrating and irritating. <laughs> It's okay. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna match them. I promise. Okay, there we go. Second incline is placed. So I don't have exactly the right amount of coin to pay it off right now, but I have a bunch of fruit trees that I need to shake and sell the fruit off of, so we'll do that in a bit. Right now I'm gonna go and empty out my inventory because she is full. And we just got 3,000 miles for having a bunch of stuff in my storage. This couldn't have come at a better time. This is when we desperately need the miles. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, before I forget, let me go order that little lantern that I was talking about. This bad boy is going to be absolutely essential for the island. Honestly, ordering five of these every day might as well be part of my daily routine because I will be ordering like five of them a day. Okay, now time to shake the trees. Timmy, Tommy, hello, how are we today? Once again, I return here in your humble abode with some fruit as an offering, what might I get back in return? Oh, 39,000 bells. Oh yes, I accept this. I accept. Okay, really? That wasn't as much um, money as I wanted. So I'm gonna go pick all my crops and sell all of these too, because I really want to pay off that incline today. We are back and we have more than crops this time. I've got some pumpkins, some sugar cane, and even some fish because I also had a nook mail task to catch fish. So I'm gonna sell all of this, plus some random glasses that I found on the floor. 
Here you are. 28,000 bells. Okay, that's not as much as I thought, but okay. We are getting a good amount of Nook Miles, though. We got our times five, which is always fantastic. And I got... How much? A thousand. Ooh, thank you. Now we can get eight Nook Mile tickets. Ugh, oh, yes. I still do want to do some decorating today, and I feel like I've just been doing some random tasks here, random tasks there, not really like focusing on one thing. So I think let's switch gears, let's do some decorating, and then I'll see how I feel about the incline at the end of the day. Maybe I'll just dip into our savings to pay it off, but yeah, let me grab some items and I'll meet you at Roswell's yard. Hello, hello, nice to see you. We are here at Roswell's house. Um, we've got this hardwood tree right here. I've got an axe in my hand. Oh, I wonder what's gonna happen. I chopped it. I chopped, I chopped it. We have our little stump and I want to put some more cedar trees kind of like in front of his house, just like I had said that I wanted to do. He's gonna be kind of hidden behind the cedar trees a little bit. He's kind of a little deep in the woods. He's kind of a kind of a loner, but that's what we love about him. He's just that lovable. And I put all of these tree things in a straight line. I hate that. I hate that. No, I'm going to dig up our stump. I know it pains me, but I'm sorry. I just can't. It's fine. We'll put a stump somewhere else. The stumps, I always want to put them somewhere, but they always give me so much trouble. Anyways, I just brought a bunch of little random things. You know the drill. We're going to do a bush in front of his lawn. We should give him some custom designs because I think he deserves it. I'm just gonna do some little pieces of the nine tile path like right in front of his door. Nothing much. Just like that. We'll do my little circle over here and maybe right here too. And then let's get some items going. I brought one of these adorable squeakoids. The green ones like they're so freaking cute. I love him so much. So he's gonna go right there. He's gonna be kind of like the center of attention because he deserves it. We're gonna get some country fencing going and I'm gonna put some back here. Oh I'm really curious how do our little leaves look in this uh this grass i haven't seen them yet oh wow you can really see them now oh they look great i don't think i'll keep them there but good to know good to know let's start up the island designer so that way i can put down some of the in-game pathing i'm gonna do a little spot over here and then i'll put some mums right on top of that there we go i think i need to go grab one more tree Thankfully, I do have some cedar trees. Ah, oh, no, I forgot. Wait a second. I forgot. <laughs> I mean, ugh. I wanted to make the little baby cedar trees for Fauna's yard, but I time traveled and I forgot about them. Well, I mean, it's not that big of a deal because I just need cedar trees in general, but I really wanted to make the, the little ones. So now I'm going to have to go get more and plant those and keep an eye on those sprouts and don't let them grow too much. Ugh, whatever. It's, it's fine. It's fine. I'm going to put another one on the side over here and then we're going to put one kind of out here closer to the edge of the, the river. I think that's some pretty decent tree placement. I don't know if I'm going to finish this house today, but I'm going to certainly try. I think I want to get this tree out of here, but I'm using up all my coconuts and I need to not be using up all my coconuts. So let me do the uh, cleanup thingy. Maybe it'll send this junk to the recycle box too. That would be really nice, actually. Okay, it didn't, but that's okay. The tree was the main thing. So since Roswell is a alligator, crocodile, whatever, of course he needs to swim in the water. So I think I'm going to give him a little pond off to the side. Yes, Fauna also has a little pond off to the side, but we're going to pretend like I'm not copying and pasting ideas from one villager house to the next. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, I think I'm just going to leave it at that because if I make it any bigger, it's going to start getting in the way of our walking path here and I I've already got this tree here, so let's not make it any more complicated. I'm gonna put another bush back here, and then I think we can do some custom designs right under this tree. I'm thinking some acorns, classic, classic. And then all the way back here, up against the cliff, we're gonna do some more in-game pathing and a little puddle design. And we're gonna do some weeds. And I'm gonna do this little soft-shelled turtle right here. Maybe this is Roswell's, I'm gonna say pets. Alligators and crocodiles don't eat turtles, right? As a Floridian, I should know this information. I'm pretty sure they do, but we're just gonna pretend that in this universe, they don't. Okay, then I got this cute little pocket magazine. I think I'm gonna put that right here. Oh my goodness, it's so small. You know what? No, I'm not gonna put it there. I want my stump, and my stump I shall have. We're gonna put a hardwood tree here. We're gonna take out our axe, and we're gonna cut this thing down like there's no tomorrow. And now I'm gonna put down the little pocket magazine, so we can sit here and we can read the magazine. And 
it's perfect. I'm gonna do a little piece of fence. Actually, maybe two. It kind of looks funky when you do it like this. I kind of like it. I'm gonna do some planks kind of hidden behind these trees. I'm gonna place this water bug over here because it comes in a cute little bucket. I'm gonna put it like kind of half hidden behind the tree. I kind of like that. And then I'm gonna do a little dropped mushroom, finally utilizing the beautiful mushrooms that I time traveled all the way here for. I'm gonna put these little boots over here and they're gonna be chilling under the tree. Actually, I'm gonna pull them over because I like that positioning better. And also because of that, I'm gonna move the mushrooms over just by one spot. There we go. Oh, centered on the circle? Yes. Yes. And then I'm gonna put some weeds in the middle. I think this is looking good. I think it's looking fantastic. That looks so good. I love it. I love it so much. I still need to fill in this front area. I don't really know what's gonna go here. I could put some stuff right here by this tree. And then I don't know what this whole path is, is gonna be. I don't know. But I think that's some pretty good progress. I mean, this is pretty much, pretty much done. I'm probably gonna put this rock over here. So I'm just gonna put that there for future me. I also have to move this apple tree and this flower and this random piece of wood. But yeah, I think that's some really, really great progress. So now we have time traveled to fall so we can keep getting our little lanterns and we can keep getting the little mushrooms. So those are gonna be really good in helping us decorate. I mean, I think just this little skinny mushroom alone is like the highlight of this whole yard, you know what I mean? So I'm really excited for that. I still wanna decorate this path here. We still gotta work on the museum. Oh yeah, the incline, the incline. I guess, yeah, let me go dip into my savings and we'll just go finish paying that off just so we can, you know, make some progress over there. And our map is actually looking pretty lively, if I do say so myself. There's actually stuff going on. Wow. I'm curious if I can fit another house here. Maybe I'll put one like right here. I'm just brainstorming. Let me go. Let me focus. Let me go pay off the bridge. Hello, sir. It is your lucky day. I'm about to pay off your incline for you. There we go. Our bridge is paid off. Alrighty, well this has been a very productive day. We got our outfits, we got um, the mushrooms, the lanterns, we did some amazing progress on Roswell's yard. I'm feeling pretty good. Probably in tomorrow's episode we will end up going on a villager hunt because we have Patty moving out. We'll have our lanterns come in the mail. I can't think of anything else. We'll continue finding more mushrooms around the island, all that good stuff. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. I had so much fun today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You know what to do. Thank you so much again and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.